All right. Hi, friends. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. Today is Pencil First Friday, and that means I'm playing a game from our friends at Pencil First Games. Uh, this first one is Herbaceous, one of my all-time favorite um, games. Uh, the reason why I love it so much is so streamlined, and it's a wonderful game to play with friends and family who aren't gamers. And what this game is, you are planting an herb garden. You have your private garden here, and then you're going to have the community garden up here. Now, I am playing a solo game, so things are a little different. So if you want to see, you know, learn the uh, multiplayer um, game, I actually have uh, uh, videos on my channel here that you can look up. Just look up Hermatius and um, you'll, you'll see those. But what it is, is a drafting game. So here's the deck of cards. Uh, this half of the deck is for the next game. What's really cool about the solo game, you have the entire deck, you shuffle it up, and you're going to deal out 36 or half the deck. You play one game, you're going to score it solo, then you can play another game. It's it's already set for you. I, I love that. So on your turn, what you're going to do is you can, um, here, I'll show you the exact the player card here. Uh, optionally, you can pot herbs, and then the second is to plant. You know, that's a mandatory, so you're always going to have to plant. Now, the way this works is, in the solo game, you're going to... You can pot on the first turn. Normally, you can't in the multiplayer game. So what potting means is you're going to take from the community and or your private garden and place it into one of these pots here. You have three pots, uh, the large pot, the planter, and the small pots. Or you can plant into the glass jar. These all have different scoring conditions. Let's take a quick look at them. The large pot, pot you want all identical herbs. Uh, the second one here, the planter, you want all different herbs. The small pots, you want different pairs of identical herbs. So two tarragons could go there, etc. And then the glass jar, any one to three herbs, and then you get bonus uh, points for any uh, special herbs, okay? Now remember, special herbs can only go in the um, jar. And once you pot something, that's it. You're done. You cannot go back. So if I put like these, these three tarragon here, and then later on, I want to add more to this. I cannot. I'm already stuck there. And you'll see here, if I had only put three, um, I would be 10 points. But if I can keep pushing my luck and getting further and further, I would get more points. Okay, so let's take a look here. My first turn solo, we are going to be playing Herbaceous, but we're also playing with something special. Thanks to our friends at Pencil First Games. You'll notice right here, the Tabletop Tonight custom event. So this is Diligent Gardening. And Diligent Gardening is going to give you um, a special five-point bonus if you pot at least one dill in your large pot wood implanter and small pots. You'll get five additional points. Likewise, the biscuit. So that's the diligent garden. You also have the biscuit. So for the first player to uh, uh, score a glass jar with the one, two, and three special herbs in here, you'll get uh, five points as well. So we've got a couple of options, friends. Now there are no, there's no dill out here yet. So we won't be looking at that. So let's jump right into it. Uh, dill, let's see if we can be diligent gardeners. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to, in the solo game, draw three cards. You're going to draw them one at a time. You're going to decide, do I want to put it in the private garden, the community garden up here, or do I want to discard? I've already started a discard pile here. So first one out is a rosemary. Now I do have a pair of rosemary here. That's nice. So I can go for pears. So I'm going to put this one up here. The next one is a tarragon. Ooh, that's a lot of tarragon. So I can put that here and I have four already. And then this one I have to discard. I hope it's not a dill. It's not. It's a bay. All right. So, um, I would love it, folks, if you, uh, you know, join us for the Pencil First Friday special Diligent Garden. You can play with this or you can, uh, or, you know, share it in our Discord. Uh, there is a link below in the uh, show notes where you can join our Discord and we have a special Pencil First Friday um, uh, channel where we're going to post our scores and uh, you can play it with uh, with it or without it. Um, but I would love to see what you scored with and without it. So I'm going to play with it right now. We'll see if I can get the Diligent Gardener bonus. Okay, so now my next... That's the turn, friends. That's it. So we go back here. Do I want to pot herbs? This is optional. I could go one, two, three, four and place it in the four here. I would get 14 points. But I'm going to push because here's the thing. You can continue going until you place your fifth... A card in the community garden up here. Once you put five, you have to sweep all of these and they have to go uh, away here. Okay, so if I put five cards, that row is gone. So I've got at least one more turn here. I'm going to push my luck, see what I can get. There's a bay, so we got rid of one bay already. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to say bye bye to the bays. Yeah, let's see. Can we push this? There's another rosemary. Okay, so we can do pears here. 
Um, I'll put this rosemary here. So now the next one has to go up here. Ooh, what do I do? Do I put the rosemary up here since I'm going to have to take it? That would be three. I can get a couple of pairs. Yeah, I'll put that there. And then let's see if what we come down here. It is a bay. All right. So do I push or do I score something now? I've got one, two, three, four tarragon that I'm giving 14 points. I have three rosemary that give me 10 points. Or I can do pairs. I got one pair here uh, or one pair here. I got another pair there. That'd be four cards for six points. Hmm. Or it's this card right here. Now I could do all different. I got one, two, three, four. Only four different ones. I, I don't really want to do that. Four different ones here. It's only six points. I could always put stuff in the glass jar. So, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I, I got to score these, I feel like. But, I'm going for that Diligent Gardener. I want to see if there's that Dill in there, folks. So, if I can get the Dill in each of these. Oh, we're looking pretty. But, I don't know. That's going to be tough. Maybe, you know, we do have another uh, game coming up here. Because I'm going to play it twice. So, let's see. I've got one... I've got three Rosemary's, four Tarragon. I mean, I could just, you know, push my luck. I could sweep these folks. Just get rid of them. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do something crazy. Let, let's see that. Okay. So I'm not going to pot anything. I'm going to go to my next turn. There's a Lavender, which I'll put here. There's a Tarragon. Ooh, that would have helped. So I'll put that there. We're going to discard these. Okay. And then this one's going to go to the discard. That's a Bay. So these get discarded. Because that's what you do in the solo game. All right. But now I've got all this to work with. Okay. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, Lavender, I'll put here. Bay, I'll put down here. I'm running around a room here. Let me scoot this over here. All right. Uh, wow. So I put Lavender here, Bay here. I'm going to discard this one, which is Bay. Wow, there is no uh, dill. No dill so far. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the next turn. I'm not going to pot anything just yet. Got a Bay. Put that there. But I've got another Rosemary. We're going to put that down here off camera. And this is going to be discarded. It's a tarragon. Wow, there's so much tarragon in here. Okay, so I've got one, two, three. I've got four pairs. That is eight cards out of 16. Let's push our luck a little more. A lavender. Put up here. A mint. Oh, that's a special card. I want that down here. And this one is another mint. Okay, so why don't we... Let's see. I want to... One... Let's see. I got one pair here. Two, three... Four pairs, that's eight cards for 14 points. Wow. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to go two. So again, this is the start of my turn. I can optionally uh, pot, so I'm going to pot. So there's no dill. I have gone through almost this entire game without a dill. That's a bummer. But maybe the next game I'll have a bunch of dill. Okay, so there's one, two, three. They have to be different pairs, folks. So one, two, three different pairs. Let's get these over here. Boom, boom. Clean this up. So one, two, three, four different pairs. That's eight cards. I'm going to scare score the small pots, and you'll see there that's 14 points. Okay, so I'm not going to get the um, bonus here. Uh, so, yeah, what's the deal with the deal? <laughs> Friends on YouTube, if you're watching this, uh, you, we record this live, and I've got chat happening, and they're they're making the best uh, puns right now. We, we have our friend Razor talking about what's the deal with the deal. All right, so my next turn, um, let's con continue here. There's a saffron, so we'll put the saffron up here. There's a sage, put that down there. Then we're gonna discard the saffron. Okay, so we're looking at uh, most uh, all the same, different, or the glass jar. Now, if I run out of the deck here, I get one more turn to uh, pot stuff, so I should be looking to pot things pretty soon. There's another lavender. Um, put that here. Rosemary, I feel like we can dump that one. And then dill. Hey, finally a dill. So one, two, three, four, five. We have six different ones. That's 24. Ooh, what are we missing? Two. Oh, the rosemary would have been good. Okay, we're going to continue. There's another dill. There's another dill. Ooh. Okay, then discard this. Saffron. Okay, why don't we do this one down here, all different in the planter. So I'm going to take a dill, a saffron, a sage, a tarragon, a bay, and a lavender. 
Yeah, the special one for the jar cannot, though. Any special herbs only can go to the jar. So we got two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for different ones, that's going to be 12 points. Okay. And let's continue. I'm almost out of the end, end of the deck here, so I'm a little scared. Uh, rosemary, put here. Sage will dump. And Sage is there. Okay, so, oh, unfortunately, okay, that is it. I am not going to be able to, oh, man, that is a bummer. So I've got two deal here for eight, six points. Or I can pot three here with that, um, yeah, I'm going to pot three. So let's go one, two, three. Pot any three for there. And I'm going to get the bonus point. Unfortunately, I cannot pot here. So I can only pot one. So here's the solar variant rules. Uh, it says your game ends, either the player cannot pot more herbs or the draw pile is exhausted the player may pot one last set of herbs card herb cards after the draw pile is exhausted if they have an empty spot a pot so that's what i did there so i didn't even get to this one that is a bummer so let's take a look at our score i'm going to score this here uh take a sip all right so i've got 12 points i've got 14 points i've got six points Plus one bonus, so seven points. And then any um, unpotted ones in your garden, you're going to get one point each, so that's three. So it looks like I got uh, 10, 16, oh boy, really? 36? That is no bueno, folks. Oh, and I didn't get the uh, bonus here. I did not get the biscuit bonus, so that would have been five points if I got the glass jar with a one, two, and a three. And I did not get the diligent gardener where I had a um, dill in each one. So no dill there. I think I had a pair of dills here. Nope, I didn't. The dills were no bueno. But here's the thing. Now that we're going to the second game, you know, I know for sure that I'm going to have some, you know, some things to play with here in the, the bonus. So we only saw one of those bonus cards come up. So here's this deck. And this is game two of our solo challenge here of uh, Herbaceous. Uh, so what we're doing is playing with the Diligent Gardening, which you can see uh, right there. Um, thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, friends, if you're joining us on YouTube, I record this live on Twitch. It is Pencil First Friday. We're playing a, uh, pencil, my favorite Pencil First games, and we're giving away a copy as well, thanks to our sponsor. Okay, so to start things, you start on the discard pile. Let me move this. This deck is gone now. Move that one out of the way. Here's a discard pile we're going to start. And then we place two in the community garden, a tarragon and a lavender. And then we put three in this private garden. One, two, three. Oh, oh, there's a chive. All right. So what am I going to do? I am going to go here. I'm going to, so I'm not going to pot anything first. In the solo game, you do have the option to pot first, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to start planting chive. Okay, we already have a chive here, so... I'm going to dump that one. Saffron. Um, let's put that up here. And then this, oh, another saffron goes down there. All right. So back to the start of the turn. Uh, do I want to plant yet? No, I'm going to push my luck. Let's see what happens. There is a tarragon. I'm going to dump that. Lavender. Place here. And a sage. Man, no bueno. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to miss out on the Diligent Gardener uh, because I didn't, um, I'm not going to have a, a place of dill in each one of these because I want to, I'm not going to push my luck this time. I want to score it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five different ones. That's going to be in the small, or no, this one, the planter. So that'd be eight point. Man, I really want another one. Do I push my luck? I, I think I learned my lesson from last time, folks. I, I pushed my luck. And didn't didn't work out. Now I could get pairs. One, two. I got two pairs. That's not much. Hmm. Let's do the difference. So I got one, two, three, four, five different ones. Okay, these are pairs. Uh, so five into the planter. That's going to be eight points. I, I love this little touch here too, where you can just slot your cards there and you know exactly how many points you have. All right. Next turn. Lavender. Place down here. A sage. Hmm. Well done. And this is going to go top. Rosemary. Okay. 
next. Another sage. Oh, man, I'm regretting this. Uh, we'll put the sage down here. Uh, saffron. Um, we'll go up there. And we're going to dump. Oh, no, a mint. Darn it. Yeah, this should be here. Okay, next. Uh, am I going to pot? No. Lavender. Another lavender. Okay, we'll put that up here. Looks like we got a lot of lavenders. There's another lavender. I'll put that down here. And we're going to dump a sage. Okay. Let me make this nice and neat for y'all. All right, so... Man, I, I'm bummed about that mint. Okay, uh, let's push... There's a dill. I'll uh, we'll put that down here. Just to the side. Hey, another dill. We can put... We could probably do pairs. One, two... No, I'm going to dump. This one is... Oh, another dill. Didn't matter. Okay, so let's do... Do I want to do four lavenders or do I want to pair up? So I can got a pair of dill, a pair of lavender, a pair of saffron. That's three pairs. Uh, three pairs would be six cards, 12 points. That's not too shabby, but I mean, I have a lot of lavender. So four lavender would be 14 points. Hmm... Now, uh, let's, let's uh, clean this up a little bit. So, one pair, two pair, three pair. Uh, two, four, six. Do I have any other pairs? Nope. So, that's going to go there. Twelve points. And then we continue next turn. Another deal. Wow, where's all this deal come from? There, I mean, that was a deal we didn't have uh, yesterday, our previous game. Put that down here. This is a sage. Well, do I put it up there? No, I'm going to dump this sage. Let's see what happens. That's another sage. Darn it. Okay, now I have this glass jar I can go to. Uh, saffron, we're going to dump. Time goes there. This one, the bay goes up there. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the deck here. So let's see what's next. Tarragon goes in the trash or discard. Time um uh, we'll put up down here this one will go up here dill okay so now it's time to pot um we are going to take the specials and place them down here we're not going to get the five point bonus because we have to get one two and three we've got a two and two threes but that'll give us points so we do get points on those as well Okay. Oh, wait. If I do that, then I'm going to lose these. Because I'm going to place five of them there. Oh. Well, there's a time. We'll put that there. We can lose that one. And then this is a dill we'll put down here. And that's going to... The chives going to be there. These get swept. And we reach the end of the deck. We get one last... Um, potting so we've got two dills put down here there for six points okay so now we count up our points i've got uh six points 14 26 32 plus bonus of uh 8 40 and then four there for 44 right let me we'll, we'll do it official here on the official post it i've got six i've got eight and i've got 12 and then I got six here, and then I've got the bonus points of six, eight, and then the uh, ones here that weren't potted but in my garden were four. So let's do this. Uh, we've got 14, 26, 32, 40, 44. Wow, so 44. So they have the, in the solo variant, they have a little scoring thing here. So 44 is a clever cultivator. And last, previous game, I got 36. Oh my gosh, I got under 36. I'm a fledgling grower. No bueno. Wow. But at least I improved. I went from a fledgling grower to a clever cultivator. Now, my high score uh, previously, I think it was 54 solo. So I was a professional herbalist. I've not gotten the true green thumb harvester yet at 57. So we're going to have to keep giving that a shot. Uh, but friends, that is Herbaceous. I want to thank you for joining me for Pencil First Fridays. I want to thank Pencil First Games for the sponsorship. And folks, let me know how you did in the game. Join our Discord. You can follow the show no uh, link below. And uh, share your scores. Uh, tell me if you got that uh, Dill Legit Gardening bonus or if you got the biscuit. 
and post the scores in our Discord or here in the comments below on YouTube. All right, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see, see you later. Bye. Okay, so we are soloing yet another game. I love Herbaceous. Thank you for joining us, folks. We're going to be giving away a copy real soon here. So do I pot? I can pot on my first turn. I'm not going to. I'm going to draw or plant. So Sage, we'll put up here. Dill, we'll put down here. And mint. Oh, losing the mint. Oh, that hurts. But we got we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We got five already for the uh, different ones. Okay. Sage. We'll dump that. Bay. Place down here. And mint. Oh, we got a mint. Okay, so we got rid of one mint, but we still have this mint. So I'm gonna pot now. I'm gonna pot sage, bay, rosemary, saffron. Uh, and dill. So we do have one of the dills. So we are in contention for the diligent gardener gardening. So I've got five here. It's going to go into the planter, which is difference. So that'll be eight points at the end. All right, next. Got another bay. Got a dill. And discard. Oh, what time? Ooh. Well, we had this one here. Okay. Next up. Sage. We burned a couple of sages already, right? So we're going to dump another. Bay. Go down here. And tarragon. Okay. Continue. Do we put the tarragon down here or up there? I'll put it down here for now. Chive. We're going to put it up here, and then we're going to burn this. Oh, it's a dill. But here's the thing. I want to do that because i got one, two, and three. So we're going to get the biscuit. What up? Finally got the biscuit bonus. Okay. And I'm going to take one, two, and three for the glass jar. Yay. Okay. And we do have the biscuit, so I'll leave that right there. Cool. All right, let's continue. We've got... Uh, the large planter for all the same. We've got these small uh, pots for pairs of different. Sage. Wow, we've gone through a lot of sage. Dill. And star anise. Okay. Put one regular herb from your private garden into a contain any container following the normal restrictions. This does not count as potting. So I love this. So everyone, even if you're if you're playing at home, even if you don't have the expansion, you're gonna pretend you have the expansion because we've hit the star anise. So take any one regular herb from your private garden and place it into any container following the normal restrictions. So private garden can go anywhere in here. So could I, does that mean I could go here? Cause then, oh no, I, yeah. It says in any container following, norm, following the normal restrictions. So what are the normal, oh, normal res restrictions are, they just have to be either all different, all the same. So I've already potted here, but this allows me to pot again. I'm going to put that tarragon here because now I have six rather than five different. Okay. So that just gave me another four points. Cool. Okay, then we go to the next turn. Tarragon. Um, we'll put that up here. So we're going to do some pairs. Rosemary is going to go down here. And we're going to lose a dill. Oh, that hurts. But here's the thing. Now I'm going to pot uh, pairs. A pair of dills. A pair of tarragons. A pair of rosemaries. And a pair of bays. That's four pairs. Eight cards, 14 points. And it's got a dill. Oh, can we get the diligent gardening bonus as well? Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. So how many was that? Two, four, six, eight, 14 points. So, oh, all we need is get a dill here. We just burned a dill, unfortunately, but oh, can this happen? I would love it. Okay, chive, we can get rid of. So we already got our bonus. Come on, dill, saffron, sage. So this is, we're looking for all the same sage we'll put here lavender bay okay 
Eva Liz says, of course you play while not uh, not recording for YouTube, right? I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I might have to just splice this in here anyways. <laughs> Friends on YouTube, if you're watching this right now, <laughs> I was playing horribly earlier, so I'm, I'm recording another uh, session for y'all. Okay. Rosemary. I'll burn that. Dill. I'm going to put down here. This is going to go up top. Bay. Okay. So we only have one card left. Um... Because it's odd because of the Star and East card. Uh, it's a Tarragon. We'll place here. So now I've got to... Oh! Here's the thing. I could place this one deal here. But I would get... You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the... Because one, two, three... Oh, that'll give me ten points. So it's more points to put all three that are the same here. Rather than put one, which would be two points... Then I get a five point diligent uh, bonus, gardening bonus. Oh, that's a bummer. So I'm going to miss out on that bonus, but it's going to score me more points to do this anyways. Okay. At least I got the biscuit. I'm happy about that. So now we are going to score again. Um, I've got the biscuit for five. Okay, so that was uh, first player to score in, in a solo game. You don't have to be first, obviously. You're playing against yourself, but... If you score a 1, 2, and 3 in the glass jar, you get 5 bonus points, which I did here. I get 6 points for having 3 um, herbs in my jar. And they are the special herbs, 1, 2, and 3. So I've got 6 more points uh, based on these here. So that's another 6 there. I've got 14 points for the pots. I've got 12 for the planter. And I've got 10 for the large planter. So I've got a total of, uh, what is this, 10... 18, 23, 53, hey, a much better, much better than my previous game. Let's let's just make sure. I've got 36, 42, plus 11 is 53. All right, uh, friends on YouTube, I had to play it again because I love this game so much, and there it is, my best score so far. But we're not done yet. We're going to continue. We've got another game because when you play solo, you do half the deck, which we've done, and we have another half all set to go. Now, we've already used, uh, in this game, the Star and Ease expansion. So that's out of the game. We're just going to play with the second half of the deck. And that means there is no uh, expansion, but that's okay. So we're having a good time. I want to thank you all for watching me. Uh, let's go here. So 53, why don't we take a look at that? And thank you, your gamer girl. Says nice score. 53, I am a professional herbalist. Hey, I like that. That is not bad at all. Uh, let's continue. Um, so shuffled this up. Jay Sweeta, too. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Whoops. And we'll be giving away a copy of Herbaceous real soon here. Thanks to our friends at Pencil First. And let's shuffle this up. Okay. Shuffled. Shuffled. Got the biscuit bonus. We'll put it right here. Got our pots and our planters and our glass jar. Discard pile. is going to start with a lavender. The community garden has a tarragon and a dill. And my private garden has a dill. Ooh. A lavender. And a saffron. So what are we going to do first? We're not going to pot first. We're going to start planting. Uh, lavender. That looks okay. So we'll put the lavender up here. Saffron. Put down here. So we got pair, a bunch of pears already. Bye bye lavender. Ooh. Wow. A lot of lavender so far. Okay. A sage we'll put down here. And another lavender. Boy, I should, really should have. That's five there. I really should have kept those. So three lavender is going to be 10 points if I do that. But I also have pairs. A pair of dill, a pair of lavender, powder, tarragon. That's six. going to be 12 points, but I, oh, I got a shot at that um, dill bonus. So I'm going to dump that. And it's a sage. Oh, that worked out perfectly. So here we're going to, I'm going to pot a bunch of pairs. Uh, lavender. Uh, dill, which gets us in line for the diligent gardening bonus. Um, a sage. And saffron. Hey, not not a bad way to plant. So two, four, six, eight. That's gonna be fourteen big points. All right, let's continue. A dill. Hey, I like that. A thyme. Gotta keep that just in case. And a bay. Okay, continue. A tarragon. Go down here. A chive. We'll go up there, and we're gonna dump. Oh, a mint. Oh, that hurts. That would have been a biscuit. Oh, man. Oh. And um, we know from the other game, uh, mint had been used. So we are not going to get that biscuit bonus this turn. Oh, bummer. Okay. Uh, saffron. I feel like we could dump that one. 
Tarragon, put down here. Or do we go up there? Maybe we'll... No, we'll go there. That one's going to go up top. Uh, so now i got to plant. I'm going to plant um, one, two. We're not going to get... We're going to put these in a glass jar here. Okay. We do get six points, and then we'll get the bonus points as well. All right, let's continue. Rosemary, put down here. Lavender, put up here. And another lavender. Okay. So we either have all the same or all different. Saffron, put up here. Rosemary, we'll dump. And we'll keep another rosemary. All right. Let's go. What do we got? Tarragon, we'll put down here. A bay. Ooh. So how many different ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that there. We're going to dump rosemary. Okay, so we are going to plant. I'm going to go for that diligent gardening bonus. So we're going to go for all different. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to get a rosemary for five and a dill for six. Not bad. Six out of seven, right? Yeah. So, and we do have a dill. So did we have a dill over here? I think we did. So we got a shot. We got a shot, friends, at that Diligent Gardening bonus. Uh, that's six cards there. It's going to be 12. What was this? Was this eight, two, four, six, eight? Yes. Eight for 14. Okay. All the same. So we know we have Aragon here, but or Tarragon, but can we get a bunch of dill? Uh, rosemary. Um, well, Who knows? Maybe we'll get a bunch of rosemary. I don't know. We'll go there. Tarragon. Oh, yeah, we're going Tarragon. Saffron. Okay. Uh, sage will dump. Bay. Uh, we'll put here. And the last card is Saffron. So we're going to go. We're not going to get the uh, uh, Diligent Gardening bonus, unfortunately. But we do get four Tarragon. Okay. And that's going to go there for 14. Okay. And um, we didn't get the Biscuit. We didn't get the Diligent Gardening bonus. So let's tally up our scores for this second solo game. Uh, this is 14. Uh, this is 12. Uh, this one here is 14. Uh, this is six for three cards. And I also have a uh, five point bonus. So 11 points. And then one, two, three unpotted. Uh, so we've got 26, 40. Hey, even better. Did we really score better? Okay, so 14, 28, 40, 54. Wow. So I got 54. Once again, 54 points is a professional herbalist. But here's the thing. For an additional challenge, play again using the other 36 herb cards removed during setup and add the scores together. Do you have two green thumbs? Can you score 114 or over? So 53 plus 54 is 107. So we're seven points sh short of being uh, a two green thumb, uh, two green thumbs basically. But friends in YouTube, I just played two more quick games of. Um, Herbaceous for y'all. Thanks for joining me. Click on that like and subscribe button. We'll see you later. Bye.